Hey, here is Lucy and this week on Soma with Daphne and Lucy I would actually like to tell you about my business called Your Space and that is about organizing and decluttering people's houses or people's environments. I'm going to take a break from creating posts about the body with Daphne um, just so I can fully nourish that um, business that I just started at the beginning of the year and it really needs some attention. Um, but the reason why I talk about it is because I would like to share a little bit how did I get to that and how does it actually relate to somatics. How can uh, space making and decluttering and organizing relate to the body and to the mind. For a very long time I saw somatics as the connection between the body and the mind. And I knew that somewhere there is also the connection with the environment, but I didn't... I just didn't understand how. <laughs> and until I actually started finally working with Daphne and we were looking a lot into the nervous system, when it really kind of all started to come together for me and it started to make sense. So we are a sensory beings and our whole experience actually consists of what our senses, from, mostly from the environment, right, perceives and then they are being translated through our own experience and through the nervous system and then finally they reach us, our consciousness or whatever you perceive to be you. So it is from, from that mind, let's say, through the body and to the environment is basically all one huge connection that is constantly influencing itself and taking information in and out. Back uh, last year on the Moving From Within, we were doing a really nice exercise with, um, with Daphne and, and with me when um, we were exploring how the environment actually influences your body's relationship with the gravity. So we were looking into um, propping, um, so kind of not really like this kind of state of hypervigilance and not really wanting to be there, like kind of constantly on the alert versus the, the collapsing when you get into apathy and you can't really function very well and then of course finding somewhere in between that healthy state of yielding when you are alert enough but not hyper alert uh, and you're calm but not kind of disassociated so we were doing uh, different exercises on how, how would your environment change that, that feeling inside yourself and then that feeling translates into, you know, into, your, into your body reaction. And then that also translates into your nervous system and the way you can or cannot function. So environment really matters and it's going to be how you how safe do you perceive your environment to be that will then show how how well functioning can you be and and it will really affect your well-being that's why i i started to focus on this part of somatics um, and the space making and really helping people to recognize if there is something in their environment that is actually causing them some emotional distress or feeling of unsafety physically or emotionally or or, or socially right and so so because that can really impair your well-being and i really like how i would say creating a safe and nourishing and calming space is actually the easiest and first step that you can do to activate a bigger change that will contribute to your holistic well-being. Maybe we can do just a little exercise uh, for you to understand it from your own experience and from through your own body. 
So I would ask you to close your eyes and just imagine an environment where you really don't feel safe. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a dangerous situation, but just an unpleasant environment. It can be extremely dirty. It can be full of things that you're afraid of, or it can just be cold very cold and, and just unpleasant. So if you are in that room, let's say, or somewhere and you don't really want to relax in that environment because you don't perceive it to be safe, it's too dirty, it's too cold, it's too unpleasant or it has unpleasant sort of emotions lingering in the air. Um, so now that you are in there, can you sense into your body and how your body is already reacting to only just this image? Can you perceive your breathing, your heart rate, your muscle tone or your posture? Maybe feeling certain tightness and tension ready to escape from the situation and let that go please and in, imagine the opposite you being in the environment that is safe and nourishing calming to all your senses however that environment looks like. It can be simple or it can be colorful, whatever works for you and whatever brings you calm and peace and relaxation. So really know that there is nothing in that environment that is a threat to you and you are completely safe. And then inquire again inside your own body. How does it feel? And whether there has been a change in your muscle tone and in your breathing. Perhaps you feel almost melting or relaxation of your own state of being of your own nervous system and just stay there maybe for another five minutes after this video is finished <laughs> 